Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo, and this is your astrological weather for um, Wednesday, March 4th. It's today the moon shifts from um, expressive, self expressive Leo into Virgo. Virgo really is about um, dealing with the details of life, Virgo is about making things better for ourselves and for other people. It is the sign of service. And so when the moon moves into Virgo, we really kind of put our nose to the grindstone. Um, the big story today is Venus. Venus makes a number of aspects. Venus is right now in Aries, the sign of uh, beginnings. Anytime a planet moves into Aries, it really is a new cycle for that planet. Some planets, um, move into Aries uh, once a year, some twice a year, uh, um, excuse me, some every two years, the moon moves into Aries every month. So there's always the energy of new beginnings. Uh, Venus moves into Aries a few, um, uh, back in February, I think it was the last week of February, and has been there and um, it's very active today. It makes a trine to Jupiter. This is, uh, trines are flowing. This trine is one of understanding. It's one of disseminating uh, our values. This trine actually harkens back to uh, last summer when Venus and um, Jupiter were conjunct in Leo. At that time we planted a new seed of creativity, a new seed of expansion of our beliefs and uh, what we, uh, especially because we're dealing with Leo, um, what was in our hearts. And so at this time we become, uh, it becomes very evident what we have learned through this process um, we put out there for the world at large. And uh, through that experience we not only express ourselves but we get to see what other people are expressing and through that um, uh, synthesis uh, we get a greater understanding of both ourselves and others. There's also a conjunction today of Venus to Uranus. This occurs once a year and it uh, it's a con conjunctions are like new moons and so it's the beginning of a new cycle. Uranus deals with our higher self and it's as if our, uh, our sense of values, which is Venus, is seated by our higher self. So we have a new expression of um, a value seated by our higher self. And because it's an Aries, it really revolves around freedom and the ability to be who we uniquely are. And then lastly, Venus makes a square to Pluto. Uh, all planets, uh, when they're making aspects to Uranus, will make a very quick aspect to Pluto because Pluto and Uranus are very close, uh, closely square each other. The last uh, exact square will be happening in a couple of weeks. Um, so uh, you can't, you sort of can't have one without the other. Um, sorry. Anyway. Um, the square to Pluto really is a crisis in action. This goes back to uh, December when we had a conjunction of Jupiter, um, excuse me, of Venus and Pluto. That conjunction seeded a new relationship to power and today we have uh, a crisis in action around that seed and so we are figuring out how we can best create the structures that will support our new sense of power and so there can there can be some uh, tumult because of that but necessary tumult so <clears throat> one way or another um, our values are changing and shifting and we might actually see this most um, most easily in our relationships because Venus is the planet of relationship. Relationship to self and relationship to others. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.